Hey, hello, grade 8. My name is Joy from Joy T Academy. Now, let's look at this one algebraic expressions. Actually, you know this, right? This is what we are doing in the class right now. This video is the second video from the first video I've uploaded. Check the previous video where I'm introducing this topic. So, here we are going to add and subtract the like terms but before we do that you need to understand what is the like term right how to know the like term right it's very important that one and then you cannot do something you don't understand with what is what to how to see it so that's why i thought maybe it's a very good idea to discuss the like terms how to see like terms right now remember when we say terms we are talking about something that is involved or is part of the expression it can be a, a number a x power of 2 plus 5x minus 4 okay how many terms do we have here remember in the last video i have mentioned that terms are separated by plus or minus now you see plus here you see minus here sometimes it's plus plus sometimes it's minus minus so those are the signs separating terms so in the meekly of two numbers or two um things like this let me say one two three when you see plus you see minus just know this one is a sign that's separating so is one two three this is why because one i'm jumping the sign two i'm jumping the sign three okay so what is very important here the number in front of x this one three and five those numbers we call them coefficients and then x x we call them variables and then that power of two there and invisible one here we call them um exponents and then the number without a letter we call it constant term and the degree of the expression is the highest exponent in this case when you look at it the exponent that is bigger is two i'm just breaking down the algebraic language so you remember what we are doing here so now terms like this in these terms we have three terms now so in these terms we don't have like terms why am i saying that it's because like terms you see them with two conditions okay you make sure that the terms that you are comparing uh -huh, that you can add and subtract before you add and subtract you check if those letters or oh, sorry you check if those terms have same same letters is very important letters or not so like terms have same letters number two you check if they have uh same exponents okay before you add example of like terms in this case so you understand when i say um there's no like term there what i mean all right so x and x oh god let me say through x yeah i can still add it so i have x here with invisible exponent one x with invisible x one but this one is one x and this one they are three okay three x's i can simple add this to be one x invisible one there one x plus three x is going to be four for what four x's okay now another example let me say you have this x to the power of three plus x to the like this x you cannot add these two why they are not like terms remember yes they can have same letters but for the fact that they do not have same exponents you cannot add these two okay unless you have x to the power of 3 and x to the power of 3 now you can say 1 remember in front of the letter there's invisible one if there's nothing like that so 1 plus 1 is going to be 2 x to the power of 3 okay the example let me say you have 2 x plus uh 3y plus 3x 
plus 2y. Okay, and now they say add or simplify the following. Now, what is very important here? You look what is the same here. We are not looking at the numbers in front. Yes, that one will be using it when we are adding or subtracting. Yes, but here we are looking for the same letters with the same exponents. Okay, now in this case, we have 2x. Now we are looking for the x again. If we do have x, we put next to this one. It's more like we are grouping them together. So x, this one is y. Mm -mm. Now this is x. So it's plus 3x. And then there's no other x's here. Now we put y is 3y. Now obviously we have that one. So from this point, what are we doing? Now we simplify, we add this. 2 plus 3 of x's. So this is going to be 5 x's we go to this one plus 3 plus 2 is going to be 5 but what we are adding in those numbers is going to be y so this is your uh -huh answer at the end of this you cannot add this no matter how much you wish to do that this is the number this is the letter you cannot add this. Why? Because this term is going with the number. Okay, there is a number in the letter put together. That 2 tells you you have two y's. So you cannot say 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 y's. No, because you cannot add the number to a letter. You cannot add a letter to a number. But you can multiply them to be together like this, as you can see. Now let me put... Uh, 4x plus 3. Okay. And then let's try to simplify this one. Do we have like terms? Yes. I see x here plus that 4x here. Uh huh. Okay. So what else do I see? I see the number and the number. Number, you can only add the numbers alone. Plus 3. Now, I have that one term left. You write it back, the one that is left. So, in this case, what are you doing? 5, oh, let me say, 1x, remember there's 1x. This is how you see 1x. 1x plus 4x's, this is going to be 5x's. Uh -huh. So, in this case, we have this number. I like it when you start with alphabet. So, you can write it here as 2y. Okay, it's okay because why this one this term is alone but there's no problem you can put five first it's okay and then you add the numbers only two plus three is going to be five okay it's i don't know why but i love this version but you can also think of this one it's not a problem five plus two y i just prefer this one more than this i don't know why it's my head don't think it's wrong Okay. Now, let's do more of this. All right. Now, let's do more of this. I just showed you what is the like term, what is not a like term. You cannot, uh, let me say, they say, um, uh, simplify, simplify the following. Now, they say A, and then A is 3x plus 2y squared minus 2x plus 4y squared. You see that you have x, you start with the first one, x. Now you look for the term that has x only, right? So you can't put this one next to that. So ha, this is the term. You write with the sign in front of it so it's minus 2x now there's no other x now you put the egg the term that you want now so you look for the term with y squared uh -huh. we have it here plus 4y squared so this is going to be 3 minus 2 is going to be 1x this is how you write 1x not like 1x no
invisible one is already there so you don't need to make it visible so let's go for this one uh-huh this one is going to be 2 plus 4 is going to be 6 y squared this is going to be your final answer okay so it's very important this is what it means to add like terms okay this is what it means to add like terms it's very important to remember this okay is very important to remember this cause y is going to come and you need to know what to do with it uh, when you are working with that okay let's say they give you something like this here what do you see we have x x x x remember you remember remember having the same letters doesn't mean that that is your like terms you have to make sure that you also have same exponents you cannot add this that's what i'm showing you you cannot add this to y because they do not have the same this one is three this one is two they do not have the same exponents so you go for this one y because two this one is x cube yes three three as you can see now we go for the one this one you can only add it to the num or to the same letter and same exponents is 3x squared now the number is alone there's nothing you can do with that so you bring it back just like that so in this case what we are doing you are adding this 3 plus 2 is going to be 5x cube or to the power of 3 one here remember one invisible one one plus three is going to be four x squared and then that two there's nothing you can do you just bring it back here because you cannot edit or subtract it to anything mm -hmm. this is how you add okay it's very important let's say maybe they put in a situation where you have to uh you have to subtract okay let's say let's say they say 2xy uh, plus 4x squared y minus uh, 2xy plus x oh god yeah x squared y okay this one is still one term remember two letters are together not separated now plus this so you do the same thing is 2xy now we need the term that with two uh, sorry the term that has xy 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 only not x squared y all right so this one has x squared y cannot be added to this one so this is the one so we have minus uh oh minus 2xy uh-huh and then we have 4x squared y plus 1x squared y see so this one they remove each other as you can see 2xy minus 2xy is going to be zero okay this one they are going to die Mm -hmm. it's like one minus one because they are the same 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 so this one this one subtract this one okay so we have zero here so but now we go to back to the so let's move on to this one four x squared y plus one x squared y is going to be five x squared y so this is how you add the like terms so if you need more help i'm available to help you let me know what I can do for you.